By the end of this video, you'll learn how to do this using nothing but the tween. First things first, go ahead and open your project that you're wanting to include the tween in, and click on the node that you're wanting to tween. In this case, it's going to be our static body 2D. Go ahead and attach a tween node to it, along with a script if it doesn't have one already. Go ahead and delete all this. We're going to go ahead and add a ready function to this script. In that ready function, we are going to interpolate the tween. Now this interpolate function has quite a few parameters we need to fulfill. The first one being which node we are interpolating, in this case it's ourselves. Followed by which variable we are interpolating, in this case position. Then you need to include the starting and ending variable. We're going to go ahead and add vector2, 0, 0 and vector2, 100, 100, just to kind of move it across the screen. Then you need to add the time. In this case, we're going to go ahead and give it five seconds. After that, you need to include how the tween is going to operate this. Now, I'm going to be honest, there are quite a few different options here, and I don't have all of them memorized. I highly recommend you look up the Godot documentation for all of these, but from what I know, the translinear and ease in out are very commonly used, so that's what we're going to use for this. Then we're going to start the tween. Don't forget to save your project, run it, and you'll notice it's working perfectly. Now editing the tween is as easy as editing these parameter values. We can go ahead and change the 5 to a 1. It's going to execute this in one second. And if we want it to absolutely fly across the screen, we can make it 1000, 1000 instead of vector2, 100, 100. It's so fast you barely even notice it. Now, if we wanted to use something besides position, it's as easy as going into the node, checking its properties, and adding whatever the property name is. Right now, again, we're using position, but let's say we wanted to use rotation degrees. We would just check the property name, in this case, rotation underscore degrees, and add that to the tween. Uh, rotation degrees doesn't use a vector2 value, so for our starting and finishing values, they're going to have to be integers. Let's do 0 and 180. Let's also go ahead and increase the time a little bit, that way it's more noticeable. As you can see, it works perfectly. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye.